Hello, in this video, let us visualize a point object in first quadrant. Consider a point A in the space above the horizontal plane and in front of the vertical plane that is in the first quadrant as shown. For better visualization here, the point A is represented as a sphere. There are three reference planes, namely horizontal plane, vertical plane and right profile plane. It is assumed that all these reference planes are transparent. As explained in the previous video, XY line is a line of intersection of horizontal plane HP and vertical plane VP. So it is the line which separates horizontal plane and vertical plane. Line of intersection of profile plane with vertical plane VP is denoted as X1, Y1 line or sometimes called as X dash Y dash line. Here the object is point A. In the first quadrant, always the object lies between the observer and the plane of projection. For example, to capture the front view, observer will be here, the point object here and the plane of projection vertical plane VP here. Similarly, to capture the top view, observer will be here, the point object here and the plane of projection horizontal plane HP here. And to capture the left side view or left view, observer will be here, the point object here and the plane of projection right profile plane RPP here. When the observer see the point in this direction from front, the view gets captured on the vertical plane VP like this and is called the front view FV which is denoted by small letter A dash. When the observer see the point in this direction from top, the view gets captured on the horizontal plane like this and is called the top view which is denoted by the letter small a. When the observer see the point in this direction from left side, the view gets captured on the right profile plane like this and is called the left side view LSV which is denoted by small letter A double dash. Observe that in first quadrant left side view is captured on the right profile plane as the object is always kept between the observer and the plane of projection. Here the pink color lines that project the views of the point onto different planes are called as projectors. After capturing these views Rotate the horizontal plane along with the top view A clockwise like this. Also rotate the right profile plane along with the left side view A double dash like this so that all the three views are on the same plane that is aligned with the vertical plane. When you view normal to vertical plane now, all the views appear like this. So we have XY line, X1, Y1 line, vertical projector joining top view A and front view A dash, horizontal projector joining front view A dash and left side view A double dash, and the projectors connecting top view A and left side view A double dash. In order to connect top view A and left side view A double dash, we make use of 45 degree line like this. So we had point A in first quadrant and we have captured all the principal views of A on a 2D plane like this. This is the process of obtaining the principal views of a point that is located in first quadrant. Now let us try to analyze the same physically. I have represented HP, VP, RPP and the principal views of the point P on a model here. Imagine the point P here, certain distance above HP and in front of VP like this. When the observer see the point in this direction, that is from front, the point gets projected on VP, that is called front view represented by small p dash of point P. Same point P when seen from top like this, 
it gets projected on the horizontal plane that is called the top view which is represented by the small letter p of the point capital p similarly the same point p when seen from left like this it gets projected on the right profile plane that is called the left side view represented by p double dash of the same point p now when i rotate horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise like this observe the line joining front view p dash and the top view p is a vertical line and when i open right profile plane 90 degree like this observe the line joining front view p dash and the profile view p double dash is a horizontal line connect the top view and left side view which was like this before we draw 45 degree line and connect them like this when you have left profile plane lpp instead of right profile plane you can visualize the projections like this this is the left profile plane here is the point. When you see for the front view, it gets captured onto VP like this. There is P dash. When you see the point from top like this to capture the top view, top view gets captured onto horizontal plane like this. It is called small p. Point when you see from right side, it gets captured onto left profile plane LPP and the point is called P double dash. So here is a front view, here is a top view and here is a right side view. Now rotate the horizontal plane clockwise by 90 degree. Observe that P and P dash are in line vertically, they are aligned. When you open LPP, like this you need to connect p and p double dash by drawing a 45 degree line like this observe that front view and profile view are horizontally aligned also observe the distance of the point p above the horizontal plane will be equal to the distance of the front view p dash above the xy line and the distance of the point p in front of vertical plane will be equal to the distance of the top view P below the XY line and the distance of the point from the profile plane will be equal to the distance of X1 Y1 line from the line joining front view P dash and top view P. So this is the distance of the point above HP. This is the distance of the point in front of VP and this is the distance of the point from LPP. In the 2D drawing, we can specify distance of the point above HP. This is the distance of the point in front of VP. And this is the distance of the point from right profile plane. 